work through lunch to get done today. The next thing I know, Kevin is parked and is greasing. Chad's over here feeding his face and Tommy's parked. And I'm still loading. I load till I run out of trees. Don't ask me what happened. I don't know. Get it like he wants it. I think a lot of people watch these videos of the 635 and some of the stuff that we run and they see what it does, but I don't necessarily think that some of the people realize the magnitude of what these machines are capable of doing and watch this when he finally gets his thing like he wants it I mean no joke I mean that thing will pull about three quarters of a load of wood into Kevin when he comes and that's with the tops Tops behind him. What would be funny is to take that machine right there with Chad on it and let him pull into a, uh, a loader operator with a, uh, a pull through d -limmer. just a couple of drags and uh, do that. Now, what happens is a lot of times people come out here they don't really understand what the machine to do, what the processor do, what that track loader would do. When they get here on the job, they freak out because they actually see it in person. It's a huge difference seeing it in person and, uh, than it is on film here. Which some people get it and understand it, what this stuff would do, but a lot don't. So today's Friday. I didn't think we were going to be able to haul anything for a little bit there, but the mills came through for us and we're going to run a full day. I'm, uh, loading the last round of trucks right now I got Scott to finish right there he's about three quarters loaded I'm basically jump up there and throw that wood right there on Scott and get him finished up and then I got three more trucks to load so we're gonna be doing uh, I don't think it's lunch 1130 right now we're fixing to be done right here probably about one o'clock so um, we're gonna call it a week we had a good week this week. Been good. Good. Been a big week too. We're gonna start Monday. Monday's gonna start maintenance for us. We're gonna run. We're gonna be running, but we're we'll be running the 822 in this wood right here. So it'll be uh, it'll be doing the processing for us. 
and uh, we're gonna pull that valve thing out of that out of that 624 right there and get it out reseal it I'm gonna video I'm gonna uh, video all of that stuff but I'll turn around where y'all can see me watch Kevin on my shoulder right there so the day the day that y'all be watching this uh, it'll be Saturday uh, May the 21st the cool thing about uh, Saturday May the 21st is is that uh, that's Anna Kate's birthday. She is my oldest. Uh, she'll be 17. And uh, she just finished her uh, junior year of high school. So that's pretty cool. So this next year, she'll be a senior. So got that going on. So happy birthday, Anna Kate. Love you, baby. I call her Boo. That's what I call her. Anna Boo. But I call her Boo. And then uh, Sunday, May the 22nd, that's my birthday. So, I'll be 44. I'm gonna try to get some kind of good video up for that. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But, uh, be 44, been lucky to make it where I am without getting killed. Cause I've done some stupid stuff, man. But, uh, probably gonna fish all weekend though. Uh, we're going out to eat. Uh, me and my wife and my two girls, and we're gonna take in a case little boyfriend with us too. His team's Hunter. We're gonna take him to eat. We got reservations tomorrow night at uh, Huck's in town, and uh, so we're gonna uh, do that. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'll, I'll do this in a minute. I'll tell. I'll talk about this in a little bit. I'm fixing to get up there and finish loading Scott here right quick. Let's see y'all. We done for the week, man. You know, right now, all these meals and markets and all that stuff, I've had two or three people want me to comment on that and do a video about it. I'm gonna do a little something about it, but not anything major. I mean, it's all about supply and demand. I mean, there's way more supply than it is demand. I mean, that's what makes the world go around. There's no houses being built. Hurricane Katrina killed everything. When it when Katrina come in, oil prices shot up to what they went up to, barrel oil and all that, it killed the economy. I mean, it just killed it. The housing market dive bomb. The real estate was upside down. You could borrow money three or four times more than what your house is worth. It don't take no rocket scientist or a real smart person to know that that ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work long term. So finally all that crap caught up and that's what we're dealing with now. Housing market is still dead, oil drop, but people are still just taking all their money to go from here to there still. Nothing's moving, no houses are being built. That's what makes the world go around is building houses. Houses, starts, is what makes the world go around. And right now, if you got a chance to make it right now logging and you get a chance to haul a load of wood, you better freaking haul it. Case in point, just loaded the truck a while ago with a load to haul. We could haul all day today, and we have. Loaded a freaking driver a while ago, 12, right at lunch to haul a load. I look at the GPS, he's going to freaking shot with it. You can't do that because you may get a call over the weekend and, uh, that meal that you got that loaded to may not take next week so you never know and I don't I don't understand I don't get that and I didn't tell him to take it to the shop told him to haul it so it's aggravating dealing with people sometimes is tough ain't no fun but here's what it is week's done <laughs> Time to go fishing now, baby. Catch me a few. That's right. Let's see what I can get on y'all for video for, for the weekend there. Later, taters. One last thing right quick. That truck that didn't haul that load when he got to the shop here, my dad jumped in it. Took off to the mill with it. <laughs>